What's up, beautiful family? Hope that you guys are having a great morning. I um, just dropped my son off at daycare and I came uptown to get a coffee because I just feel tired. <laughs> um, I'm the big 30 today, so I decided to um, treat myself. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Um, so I have not had my nails done since I had my son. So it's been two years. Um, you know, I used to go basically on the regular before I had him. And, um, but when I had him, you know, my full attention just went to him. Like it became all about him. And I would not have it any other way. Like my son is my life and he comes first. Um, and it, and I'm not saying like, oh, you know, you're not supposed to take care of yourself or like don't go get your nails done or anything like that when you have children. That's not what I'm saying. Um, in fact, I believe that um, taking care of your mental health is one of the most important things that you could do for yourself. Um, do not ever, ever, ever let anybody... Uh, condemn you or make you feel bad for taking care of yourself um, and that goes for anyone who has children any mom is out there um, and even if you don't have children do not ever let anybody make you feel bad for taking care of yourself you know this life is so stressful and um, having kids can be stressful um, and all of your attention and time goes towards them and sometimes mamas just need a break and what you know whatever that looks like for you like if you like to go get your hair done or you know you like to go get your nails done or you like to go shopping or you know or if it's just you know to get away for a little while and go take a drive like don't ever let anybody make you feel bad um, for doing those things because um, you know depression takes so many lives and it's really unfortunate and you know if people could just focus more on their mental health um, and just kind of get away and like you know do something every now and then that um, you know, that kind of calms their mind. You know, for me, for the longest time, it was going to the gym. Um, that was kind of like my stress reliever. It wasn't about, you know, like, you know, being thin or anything like that. It was more like I just felt better whenever I left the gym. So whatever that looks like for you. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to get on here and just talk to you guys about a few things this morning because I have a chance to, um, it feels so weird like I'm not working today. My son's at daycare. First time going to go get my nails done in forever. I just feel like it feels weird. <laughs> um, that video that I posted last night, I know that was very, very, very um, hard for a lot of people to watch. And I know it was disturbing. But I felt led to share it because it's the reality of what's going on over there right now and so many citizens over there in China um, are desperately crying out I mean we see so many that are um, making videos and posting them online and I think I like I, last night I just saw Miss Wuhan um, post a video and she's in just so much distress and she says I literally feel like I'm going crazy and she said, you know, the government is corrupt and if you try to speak out, um, they'll lock you up. Uh, you know, I already knew <clears throat> from the get-go, like the numbers that they were sharing were false, but they're also trying to cover up and hide a lot of like just the sketchy things that they're doing in general. I mean, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of leaked footage. Um, I've seen the government coming up to people's homes and um, quarantining them and telling them that they can't leave um, and that they were going to go ahead and proceed to weld them shut like weld them into their homes from the outside 
Um, so, and like the guy on camera, he was like, okay, well, what, ha what happens if I get sick or what happens if there's a fire that breaks out or what happens if like, you know, what happens if this or that happens? And, um, they're just saying like, are you going to cooperate? Are you going to cooperate? And they're like welding these people into their homes. They're not treating them like people anymore. They're treating them like a virus. And so there is just so much going on over there that they're trying to hide and cover up yet you know it's just a matter of time until people really figure out like and see truly what's going on because people are gonna like get it out there people are gonna tell others like and just like this leaked video um there was a um like this rumor that was going around that china was trying to get an approval to um burn and kill um patients who had the virus it turned out to be false like if you just look it up literally like it turned out to be false however i'm really 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 thinking that whole thing through again because um what i that video that i posted of that person being burned alive um is not fake um it's not something that you can stage um and people want to downplay this like it's not really happening it's not that severe the numbers aren't that high oh stop watching the news um you're just freaking yourself out but I felt led to share it because this is what's happening. This is the reality of so many people. And if people don't see it, then they they won't see the severity of why we need to pray for these people. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, last night I was kind of just in frustration. Like after I had watched the video, I posted it, <clears throat> I get in the shower and I'm talking to the Lord and I'm like, frustrated i'm like lord i don't even know like what do i even pray anymore you know like it's so bad over there and it's like am i really going to be able to like say a prayer and it help at all and like i'm just you know i'm just i'm i'm frustrated and um so i'm praying right and i just like all right like and i just i start praying for the safety of people I start praying for the children over there I start praying that God just protects them and I'm just praying right <clears throat> and I've told you guys I haven't had a vision since the last one um the very last one was first it was the lava coming down the mountain then the, the other one was uh, God's fist coming down onto the earth um the guardian angels and um oh uh time is up <clears throat> so after the vision that i had where i saw a bunch of pictures flash before my eyes and then i saw time is up um in like big cap letters um i haven't had one since then and so i was praying last night in the shower and not even before i could say um what did I, what did I pray to him? I said, um, I think I said something along, like I was about to say, Lord, um, just put your hand over them or I, it was something along that lines. And before I could get it out, I had a vision and I got so excited because I haven't had one since my last one. And, um, you know, I believe that, the, that God gives us things in due time and whenever he, whenever it's the right time for him that he feels that he should give you something and so um i saw literally i saw that whole i saw the whole city of i guess it was wuhan but i saw china and it was like a huge city and because and i knew it was china because i was praying for china and i literally saw god's massive hand literally cupped like this and it was just hovering over the whole um, city like this. Just um, he had his hand over them. And it gave me a lot of peace and comfort because I know that when we look at these things, it looks as if nobody's in control. It looks like things are literally just going downhill. 
Um, but you have to remember that there are a lot of Christians in China too. There's a lot of people that are literally crying out to God over there and praying for protection. Um, it's not just us over here in the U.S. that are praying for them. Um, there's a lot of Christians over there that believe in Jesus and are believing for protection and having faith in him. And so um, I know without a doubt 100% that he has his hand over them because I saw it last night. And so I just want to give you guys that encouragement because I know that um, what is happening is really, really scary. Um, I... I know that I guess the U.S. Um, is implementing martial or medical martial law and <clears throat> the U.S. military is now preparing for a pandemic over here in the United States. Um, I just truly believe that time is up uh, just like he's shown me. Um, as I see everything unfold before my eyes. Um, I think back to everything that he's told me and everything that he's shown me. I mean, you can go right into the word and literally look and see everything unfolding, you know, by just diving into the word. You can look at the word and you can look at the world around you and see what's happening. <clears throat> but then I also go back into just everything that he's shown me. Like when I was 10... I had that rapture dream and we got to that halfway midway midway point when we were being raptured. We were like up in the atmosphere over the over the earth. Like we were at a halfway midway point. He he let us back down, walking back to wherever we were coming from. And I looked to the person to my right at 10 years old, guys. And <clears throat> and I looked at them and I said, That was a sign from God that it's almost time to go home. And that was what 19 years ago that I had that. And uh so when I was 10, he was telling me it's almost time to go home. And I know for a fact that he's raised me up for a time such as this to get people prepared. How do we be prepared? Uh, we believe in Jesus. We believe on Christ. We put our trust and faith in him that he is who he says that he is. Um, and he says, whoever believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, you have to admit that you're a sinner in need of a savior to be saved. Um, so, and then I, you know, I look at that and then, um, and then I remember when I first started my YouTube, I was watching Pastor Tim and Gigi and, um, all of these watchmen and watch women. And, um, I was getting excited, but I was telling the Lord, I'm like, you know, I don't want to lean on my own understanding. Um, please God, like, can you give me my own confirmation? Um, I had left my work area. I went down to the bathroom and I prayed all this stuff. And I said, if I said, Lord, if you're coming soon, soon, imminently, like this is what I told him. I said, Lord, if you're, if you're coming soon, soon, I mean, imminently, not years down the road. If you're coming soon, please give me my own confirmation. Please give me something. So the day passed on <clears throat> the next morning, long story short, um, my son had woken up. I saw him wrestling around on the monitor. Well, he'd went back to sleep, so I dozed back off. In the literally, in literally in the same position that I was in in the bed, um, I had like this. It was a rapture dream. It felt like an out of body experience, but it was it it wasn't real. Obviously, we weren't being raptured, but um, I literally had the most real. Uh, rapture dream ever and it literally the dream took place in the actual spot I was laying in my bed and I was being raptured out of the bed like me and my husband were being raptured out of the bed and it felt so real and that was the very first YouTube video I ever put up on this channel um, I've had uh, one two three four I've had five visions now one a bunch of pictures flashing before my eyes and it says time is up uh, in big cap letters um, I saw, uh, the lava flowing down on the mountain. I knew it was destruction. Um, you know, just probably something that happens after the, after the rapture during probably the tribulation time. And then I saw God's, uh, fist come all the way down from the sky, literally come straight down like this and slam into the ground. And I mean the whole ground and the earth shook and cracked and I knew it was his judgment. Um, and then the um 
the dream that I had the other night of the second coming. Um, you know, I see a lot of mockers and scoffers say, oh, look, that show, she's going to be left behind. Um, no, God gives us dreams sometimes and allows us to be in that situation, to experience it, to um, see the severity of it. Um, I know my eternal security and you should know your etern uh, eternal security as well because the Bible makes it so, so clear all throughout the Bible that whoever is a born again believer, nothing can snatch you from his hands. Um, and so <clears throat> God wants you to have that peace, um, that true internal peace and joy. Um, anything that is not of peace, joy, love, all the fruits of the spirit, you know, anxiety, fear, depression, all that stuff, um, being scared, all of that comes from Satan. And he wants you to, um, he wants you to live in fear. I know that whenever I first started this YouTube channel that I, I, I thought it was going to be, um, easy, uh, easy peasy. I thought it was going to be all rainbows and butterflies and, um, the very first night that my husband had went on nights, um, I was attacked in my sleep by Satan. Of course, Satan was not in my house, um, but when you are asleep, you are in your most vulnerable state. So, I knew exactly what he wanted. He wanted me to get off of YouTube. He knew that I was out here preaching the truth, and so he wanted to shut me up. And um, I had went to sleep that night and I just was in so much fear and anxiety like I didn't want to be alone my husband was on nights and so you know I don't like to sleep alone and so it was the worst attack I had ever had ever in a dream and it was so real and I literally heard Satan's voice in my right ear when I was waking up and I can't remember what he said but you know I don't want to um, you know, he, he's nothing. He's nobody. It's all a front. Um, I'm sure that big, scary voice that I heard, uh, in my ear I, as I was waking up, that's not really what he sounds like. You know, he's just puny. It's all, it's all a front. It's all an act. Um, but I knew for a fact, basically what he was saying though, is that, okay, listen, Chelsea, your husband's on nights. Um, and I know that you're scared and I know that you don't like to be alone. Um, so go ahead and shut down your YouTube, shut your mouth, stop telling people the truth. And I won't attack you in your sleep anymore. And I, um, there's so much fear. Like I've never woken up screaming, crying like that in my life. And I could have done one of, of, of two things. I could have stayed in that state of fear and um, anxiety and I could have just hushed up and I could have allowed him to win um, but instead I um, I got up and I fought I fought back um, I went out on the porch and I just started praying out loud and I started rebuking him and I told him that um, that this is God's property, this is not your property, and you have no business being here. I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Um, you have to leave. And I just started um, just praying out loud um, with confidence. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit literally just came right over my body. And all of the anxiety and the fear was gone. And I felt so much peace. Um, it literally was like a rush, like came straight over me. It was like the middle of the night. I had woke up and I went out there and I just started praying. Um, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit just rushed right over me. Um, and it literally, the only way I can describe it is I literally felt like I could run a marathon. Like I was just like pacing back and forth on the porch, thanking and praising God, like for his presence and showing me that he was there. Um, and that's when I had the vision, when I saw the guardian angels literally wrapped around my house. They were shoulder to shoulder. They were extremely tall. Um, I remember seeing their wings like being like the length of their bodies. I mean, they were really tall. Um, 
And I remember that they had a bunch of armor on, but I couldn't like make it out. But I saw them literally wrapped around my house. With all that being said, I know two things. I know that I'm preaching you guys the truth. Um, I take it straight out of the Bible. Um, I'm preaching the truth and Satan wants to shut us up. Um, but God is more powerful than that. And we are his children. And, um, you know, I, until it, that's one thing, um, we're out here preaching the truth. Satan is furious, but there's nothing that he can do about it. We are protected. We are loved. We are treasured by the father. And the other thing he's coming back. The Lord Jesus is literally is coming back for us. Um, we are going to soon be raptured out of here, out of all of harm's way, because as soon as the restrainer is removed, which is us, as soon as we're removed, we've like all hell's going to break loose on this earth. Um, then the antichrist will come on the scene and he'll say, Oh, peace and safety. Everything's okay. Here's the answers to everything. Um, guys, I know that the Lord has raised me up for a time as this, as well as many others. There are so many others out there who are getting true dreams and visions from the Lord. He, all those who are watching, um, know that we are in the season. All those who are watching and waiting patiently, he's speaking to, and he's showing that, Hey, I really am coming. I truly am at the door. Um, I have always felt like the glass has been leaning. I truly feel like the glass is about to tip and we're about to be out of here. Everything is coming together. Everything that he's shown me, everything that is in the Bible, we are there, guys. We are almost there. So um, how do we prepare? How do we be ready for the rapture? How do we go with the Lord? He says, whoever believes in me shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you admit that you are a sinner in need of a savior and you call upon his name to be saved, he says, you will be saved. Um, put your trust and faith in Christ today that he is the only person that can save you. There is nothing that you can do in your flesh to save yourself. It's not about being a good person. It's not about um, doing good deeds. God says that our works are like filthy rags, that they don't matter. Um, put your trust and faith in Christ and what he did for you. And by your faith, you are made righteous. And by your faith, you are made holy. Um, and by your faith, you will be saved. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Hang in there. We're almost home. Okay. See ya. Love you all.